How to not be like Haruki Yamauchi. Classroom of the Elite Analysis. We see the thumbnail right here. Certified bum yet. You see the picture right over here? You see this right over here? Yamauchi's technically from the Black Room. He's a product of the Black Room. I think we have a YouTuber talking about how Yamauchi is such a bad character. Let's see what he has to say. Hello and welcome to today's video where we'll okay. be discussing how to not be like Haruki Yamauchi from Classroom of the Elite. Why? For those who- Why would you not want to be, you know, the strongest character that can rival Koji and fucking Koenji in this Want show? familiar. Haruki Yamauchi is a character from the anime Classroom of the Elite who's known for his selfishness, lack of yeah. maturity, and tendency to lie and overall lack of ability in all aspects. This is a pretty bad, uh, it, this is pretty blurry right here. We can bring up the, we can bring up the Yamauchi one here. Let me find it. We're also going to do the reactions on Yamauchi stuff like this. I'll probably do this again, but look at this. Haruki Yamauchi, class D, club affiliations, none. Date of birth, May 30th. Academic ability, E+. I want you to understand what E means in the context of classroom the elites. E does not stand for elite. E stands for expelled. Bro scored lower than D on academic ability. Intelligence, D minus. Decision making, D plus. I don't know how the fuck you can differentiate a D minus and a D plus because they're all just trash. And then we have physical ability and cooperatives, both at C minus, bro. These stats are kind of, they're lacking. Comments from the interviewer. There is some discrepancy between his responses during the Q&A portion of the interview and the survey report. He has an apparent tendency to pretend he is more impressive than he actually is. Because quite often, every time Yamauchi, sorry, that's the light novel name. Yamauchi, every time he shows up in the anime, he says some shit about like how he's like a competitive ping pong player. He's, a, he's like the national like baseball ace number four batter of his team. Apparently, he like ranked like the highest in this random academic test, but he named the test wrong. So every time there's a little bit of contradictions, you can't prove that he's, he didn't accomplish these things. But you also can't not prove, you know? Because it's like, is he bullshitting? Is he capping? No one has definitive proof. That's why, I don't know. I think he's, I think personally, he's hiding his power level, okay? Moreover, we have yet to find an area in which he excels, which respect to both academic and athletic ability. However, being able to inflate one's sense of importance in society can produce results. Donald Trump, that's right. Just talk your shit, bro. Just talk your shit. Just lie until it becomes reality. So we expect that he will find a space in which to thrive. Notes from the homeroom instructor. I would like to be strict in addressing his behavior because he has a habit of lying to his teachers. But are these lies? I just want there to be a moment in the future where everybody looks down on Yamauchi. Everybody thinks that he's a trash character because he seemingly lies. But then actually, they were all truth the entire time. Remember... Yamauchi is the product of the black room, not the white room, and is one of the two graduates, right, of the black room. The other, I'm sure you can guess. I'm not gonna let you guys know right now, but, you know, think about who Yamauchi hangs out with. Anyways, that is his character card. Specs. In this video, we'll be looking at some tips on how you can avoid being like him, so you do not turn out to be like a bum. Tip number one, be honest. The first tip is to be honest. <laughs> yeah, just don't lie. But being honest, honestly, like, um, there are obviously nuances. This video is obviously to be how to not be like Yamauchi, but there, I, I think that exaggerating or certain lies are probably necessary to get ahead in this show. You may be thinking that this is obvious, but some of you guys are a little edgy and feel otherwise. In the show, Haruki has a tendency to lie. And as we can see from the series, it never ends well for him. Yeah. Honesty is always the best policy, and it's important to be truthful with yourself and those around you. Being honest helps build trust with others. <laughs> Being honest helps build trust with others. As you show me a fucking picture of Koji with an umbrella thinking about how he's lied to fucking everybody, manipulating everybody behind the scenes. Honesty? You're gonna talk about fucking honesty and show me this fucking character? Come on now. Listen, listen. Honesty, again, we're talking about how to not be like Yamauchi. But let's get serious. What characters in this show are being fucking straight up 100% honest? Everybody has a mask on. Everybody is playing a game of deception. Everybody is out to get each other, okay? So being honest, I feel like, would help 
and not be like Yamauchi, but at the same time, I think you need to be a little bit dishonest in this show. And it allows for more open and authentic communication. Okay. If you are going to lie, at least be able to back it up. Mm, here we Tip go. Tip number two, respect up. If you're going to lie, at least be able to back it up. I think that's the most important part. Yamauchi so far just fucking caps like crazy. No one can prove it. No one can disprove it. People have some suspicions, but obviously, if you're able to lie a little bit better, right? If you're able to be like Koji, someone else, right? Then perhaps it's a little bit more believable in the shit you're saying. Others. Another important tip is to respect others. Respect others. A rookie's perverted behavior towards his female classmates is <laughs> sexual harassment. <laughs> Marikita! He, I think, uh, makes a lot of advances towards Sakura, right? I I'm pretty sure he already conf uh, confessed to Sakura in the light novel, like right off the bat. So, and even in the anime, I think there's some moments in the island arc, right? Where Yamauchi's like, yo, I'm gonna ask out Sakura, right? When Koji, Sakura, and Yamauchi are like outside doing some excavation shit. Is a prime example of disrespect. <laughs> it's important True. to treat others with kindness and respect, regardless of their gender, race, or social status. Wow. Treating others with respect builds positive relationships. This is hilarious again. Treating people with respect regardless of the gender, race, and social status. Gender, race, yes. Social status, though. I feel like everything here in this show is about social status, right? Everything's about the intelligence, the social status, like how you can lie to each other, how you, how people perceive each other, the clout that you have, right? So again, I feel like regardless of social status, this show, it definitely does not give a fuck about that. But if you're trying to not be like Yamauchi Haruki, which is what the video is about, have a little respect. Relationships and fosters a sense of community. If you keep acting like a pervert like Yamaguchi all it did. <laughs> if you keep acting like a pervert as we fucking see the fucking moment where Chabs, Chashibura is about to fucking shut on the class. But there's like a 10 second fucking zoom in of the camera as it shows her cleavage until it shows her face. I don't know what the anime did this. The anime straight up just started from here and there's a 10 second delay on when we get to see her face. Let's bring the girls. He's gonna fucking put this scene in as we talk about sexual harassment. To test him at the end. But if you ignore the girls instead like a young hmm. Koji, they all came chasing after him at the end. If you ignore the girls, yeah, like Ayana Koji, then they come chasing after him in the end. Was he ignoring the girls in the in the show? I feel like in the light novel, he's just so horny for them. He just wants to like, I don't know, be a normal boy and just like hang out with girls and stuff. But he's too like socially awkward. So I don't know if he's trying to ignore them per se. It's more like he doesn't know how to interact with them. But in this show, after they're running, after they're running, there was the, you know, the whole, holy shit, you're so cool, Ayano Koji. Oh my God, I didn't know you had it like that. Tip number three, work hard and live in the real world. The third tip is to work hard. A rookie is known for being work hard and live in the real world. I think it's again just like Yamauchi just fucking has no work ethic, so he should like you know fucking work harder, have some discipline, and live in the real world. Work hard in the real world doesn't like be more grounded in reality, I guess. A slacker and not contributing anything meaningful to his class. Has Yamauchi not contributed anything meaningful to his class? Let me let me hit you up with this. In my opinion, I think Haruki Yamauchi was the most important character in the island arc. And let me tell you why. Ike, sorry, sorry. The, the, whenever I say Yamauki or Ike, it's because of the AI voice of the, the light novel we're, we're watching right now. But basically think about it. Why did we win the final arc in season one? It's because there was an exception case where we're able to sub out the leader for some kind of extraneous cases, right? So anytime, there is like an exceptional case. You're able to switch out a class leader, which threw everyone's guesses off. But why were we able to throw to change the uh, the class leader? The exception case was Horikita got sick. But ask yourself, why did she get sick? Who planned this? Who who did this? Think about it. Marikita, Yamauchi, Yamauchi put the mud in Horikita's head. And this was all instrumental in Aono Koji's plot to get Horikita sick so we can get Chabs to swap her out. So think about it. If you think about the arc from that perspective, Yamauchi, singly, Yamauchi is suddenly the most important person who contributed the most in the island arc. The second person that comes after Yamauchi's contribution, Ike or Ike. 
He keeps the other person that knew how to drink water and start fucking fires and learn what Barry's names are. Two class, two classmates again. The dynamic duo from the dark, sorry, the black room. I think Yamauchi contributed a lot. It's important to put in the effort to achieve your goals and work towards success. Okay. Hard work and dedication lead to achievement, and it's important to strive towards your full potential. Haruki also... I would say that's even scarier. Yamauchi seemingly just still fucking around, doing nothing, flirting with Sakura. What happens when he shows his actual power level? What will happen when he actually starts trying? A lot of video games and focus too much on leveling up his character in the game, rather than his PlayStation Viva that he bought for 20,000 points. In real life. This allowed for the majority of the class to easily pass by him and leave him in the dust. If you want to grow exponentially better than your peers, stop leveling up online and do it in real life. <laughs> Damn. Tip no. Bro, just fucking said, stop playing fucking video games, bro. <laughs> Go learn a fucking skill, be useful to society. Number four, take responsibility. Another important tip is to take responsibility. A rookie is okay. quick to shift the blame onto others and doesn't take responsibility for his actions. Or maybe he was never in the wrong. I don't know, man. It's important to own up to your mistakes and take responsibility for your actions. Okay. Taking responsibility shows maturity and integrity and helps build trust with others. Tip number five, be open to growth. The final tip is to be open to growth. A rookie never takes the time to reflect on his faults or try to grow <laughs> as a person. Because what if there are no faults? It's important to be open to self-improvement and take the time to reflect on your weaknesses. Being open to growth allows for personal development and helps you become a better version of yourself. Conclusion. In conclusion, being like Haruki Yamauchi from Classroom of the Elite yep. is not something to strive towards. <laughs> Man, he really doesn't like Yamauchi, huh? To avoid being like him, yeah. it's important to be honest, respect others. <laughs> okay, okay, I don't know about the honest part. The honest part is a little bit bullshit in this show, but I definitely know what he's trying to say. I see you. Thank you for the membership, Hina Shiori. Hard. Take responsibility and be open. I just said Hina Shiori. Holy shit, my dyslexia is crazy. Open to growth. By following these tips, you can avoid some of the negative traits associated with Haruki and become a better person. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Pretty funny, right? Go like the video, sub to the channel if you enjoyed it from EG Philosophy, but... Again, Haruki Yamauchi is not showing his full power level. I think that once he actually starts trying, people have to watch out. And remember, EK and Yamauchi product of the black room just remember that when we're watching season three next okay